Hi everyone, I'm Tony from SUS.com with a new episode today. As usual, we are very eager to bring you new updates regarding thermal vision for drones. Because not only it shows our ability to engineer things for your demands, it's also about knowledge in general. Think about that flip boson on top of the DJI Mavic. It gets pretty popular by now. We also have other solutions to integrate FLIR cameras on drones, like the viewer touch standard, uh, Pro, and TAP HD, for integrating seamlessly and easily the FLIR View Pro on Phantom 4, Inspire 1, and other drones. We also have the solution to integrate the bigger, heavier camera, like the FLIR Duo Pro R on Inspire 2, etc. And today I'm bringing you a new update, a major development that we have come up so far that hopefully will set the trend for the next few years that is optical zoom for thermal vision yes uh, you heard it right optical zoom the quality lossless zoom for thermal vision for drone so here is the VRR tab zoom with 8x optical zoom and being a regular VRR tab HD it can be transferred from one drone to another easily and you can move it to a handle like this for ground inspection uh, because it's, it has its own battery and can function normally uh, outside of any drone. It also has a tablet and only one app for you to view and control everything for your view. I'm going to keep this tablet right here because it, they are the same. I need a second tablet. And here I can uh, pan and tilt the camera. And then uh, now is optical zoom. Uh, I can even change color palettes and I can uh, start and stop recording. Uh, so why optical zoom? Uh, think about situations where you bought a thermal camera and it turns out that it's too narrow or too wide for the job. And you wish, oh, I should have bought the other better camera. But chances are, down the road, if you have other different requirements, different job. That same camera might turn out to be too narrow or too wide again. So the solution would be to have optical zoom for you to be able to zoom in and out regardless of requirements. Even the most expensive, most advanced system like the Digital Zenmu X2 is stuck with digital zoom. So digital zoom means that you are just blowing up an image, scaling it up a digital image or video on the screen without adding more details to it. In some situations, it might help. Like, if you have a smaller screen, moving it to a bigger screen might help because you can see a little better. But in general, it doesn't help that much because you're not adding more details or more information to it. Here's an example where you see a blob and you can't uh, recognize what it is, so you have to blow it up digitally. Uh, because no new information is added, the profile stays the same. The images get proportionally bigger, but you can't make out what it is. So here, the optical zoom comes into rescue. So it's great for inspection, search and rescue, etc. So optical zoom for thermal vision camera already exists. But we're talking about a few issues. Uh, first of all, it is cost. Uh, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. Say, for example, the Flea M500 thermal vision camera. It, it's very great. It's professional quality with great optical zoom capability. However, we are talking about almost $200,000. Our viewer tap zoom here is about 20 to 30 times cheaper. So we're talking about affordability. Even if you have enough budget to acquire such expensive pieces of equipment, you have to overcome the next challenge before you can integrate on to draw. That is the size and weight. They're pretty big and heavy. So you would need a manned aircraft or a heavy lifted drone to carry them. Our solution here weighs only about a pound to a pound and a half. Um, so with the smaller configuration, you can carry it easily with a Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, with bigger configuration like ADEX, you can use Inspire 1 or Inspire 2, etc. Talking about configuration, there's an advantage that our solution offers. That is upgradability. Say for example, you have limited budget now, you start with a 2x configuration and then later out down the road you have more budget you have uh, more jobs you can return everything we can upgrade to 8x or more so we're talking about affordability lightweight and upgradability we also mentioned the mobility where you can transfer from drone to another easily 
if you move your handle. So uh, this is the first fully functional prototype that we will build in just a short amount of time. There more room for improvement. So chances are, if you're viewing this a few months down the road, uh, we may have already perfected the solution for you. If you're viewing this video sooner and you think this idea is cool and great for your demand, please talk to us. We'll be very happy when you have your inquiry and we'll uh, tailor a solution for your demand. And in general, if you think this is a cool idea, uh, give us some thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel and remember to hit that bell button. So next time we have a video, uh, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching this and thanks so much for your attention. That's it, polite to everyone.